McKinney Campground at Alatoona Lake. Uh, we're not too far away from Alatoona and uh, you know, this is a big lake. I've got a little map on there, location uh, from Google. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's a big campground, kind of spread out. The premium sites are along the water and they're kind of marked with a star if you uh, go online and look at their trail map. I've got a, a little bit of one over in the corner. And uh, the bottom line here is that the ones that are on the lot water are good. I mean, I, they're, some of them are better than others. Uh, almost all of them, well, actually all of them, you've got a pretty steep walk down to the water. So, I mean, they do have uh, boat ramps, but uh, you're gonna have a, a pretty tough time getting your uh, kayak up and down if you're uh, not closer to one of the boat ramps. Um, on Alatoona Lake, there are oh, six, six other campgrounds, and they're spread out, they're all over. Uh, the closest one, I believe, to ours is uh, Sweetwater and it's 36 miles away on our side of the lake. So it's a very long, narrow body of water. So just be aware of that. When I put up the, uh, the list of uh, the uh, various campgrounds that are here, which are <laughs> coming up right now, um, just be aware that the start of the list is, then goes clockwise around the lake from uh, the beginning and so uh, if you try to drive from each individual one of these <laughs> you'd have a day's worth of driving frankly so just be aware of that and uh, make your plans accordingly um, McKinney does have a five-star rating and that's why we came here and uh, would we come back you know for what we generally do probably not it's not really that great of a place com compared to where we just were at uh, old, uh, old Federal is far nicer for what we're looking for. But hey, you know what? It's, it's very, very good. So just uh, be aware of the differences. So our site here is uh, Site 43. Um, it's got a very nice view. Spacious. 30 amps and 50 amps are available. That would be uh, across the board with regards to premium sites, which is what these are. Uh, the ones that are along the lake or the river, lake, whatever, the water are all considered premium sites and they're all $32. Half of that if you've got the gold pass. Pretty big drop off on each side here and it is for sure a little bit of a challenge to walk down from here but what a nice view so my ever-loving editor <laughs> has reminded me that it's a senior pass not a gold pass 44, 43, and on around the corner, which I'll be showing you uh, a little bit as we drive ride by, are equally good. And you can set up a tent. You don't have to have a big RV to do this. Um, and they're all just very pleasant to, to be at. Nice breeze. You know, at this time of year, it's uh, end of September, uh, the temperature is around 75, 80 degrees which I'm told is about par for the course here in uh, North Georgia. So right now I'm riding along what are listed as the premium sites. They're premium. <laughs> because they're along the water, and that's why they're $32. The interior sites are 28.
as always. The roads are super. So far, anyway, always. And very pleasant to ride a bike on. to uh, one of the hosts here, Tony. Uh, he spent the summer up in Sweetwater. Uh, they just opened this campground two weeks ago. It had been closed for two years. So when I asked him what it was his uh, most important thing to think about when you're thinking about this campground, without any hesitation, he said wildlife. And uh, although we haven't seen any, he says that there are a lot of deer around. And I could understand why if the place hadn't been occupied for two years. The interior cameras that I'm going by right now are $28, and uh, when you get up along the water, they jump back up to $32. Um, and the bottom line is, is that you're going to pay for that premium water site. You've got uh, decent electrical, you've got decent water, and a fantastic Starting at 24, going out towards 57 is when you're going to have that premium experience. Coming down around the corner, you end up at the uh, public beach, which is public probably for day use as well. And it's a good sized beach. Uh, it's on a very, very secluded road. And that is, uh, you know, not in the traffic area. Uh, there is a lot of traffic out on the main main drag, uh, the main part of the channel. As I said earlier, it's definitely a long, narrow body of water, and so it really presents itself more like a river than it does a lake. The interior campsites are very wooded, no water view, and $28. All the ones that I'm going by right now are premium, and they're 32 because they're on the water one. Going by 34 and 33, those are Janet's pick to click. What's your name? Dustin. Hi, Dustin. Hey, how you doing? Chris. So Dustin just told me that this is the best site, number 34 in the campsite. That's right. And McKinney. And he's been coming here since he was a teenager. That's right. Long time. Another local, another local boy. Yeah. And guess what? This is also Janet's pick to click. <laughs> Janet being my wife. Oh, okay. So we go around to these different campsites now. We try to figure out, oh, the game is, Janet's got to figure out which one's the best. And then she tells me what the pick to click is. Oh, I got you. And, you know, because when you want it, you want to click on it? Yeah. You want to click on it and get it. What a beautiful dog. Yeah. He's bright, I tell you. And so she felt that this was it, because not only is it just spacious. How you doing? But it's got great water access. You can get right down to the beach. Yeah, the boat or the sandy area down there. Yeah. Or... Well, we kayak. How you doing? I know you're so excited yeah. to see somebody. And yeah, you can get right down to the water with your kayaks. It is. A sandy area. It is. Bring a jet ski or a boat or anything. Sure. There's, right there. There's a marina here. Hi, how are you doing? What's your name? My name's <laughs> Oh, you are? Well, I'm older than that, but I remember when I was five, believe it or not. So it's just a fantastic view. We have two dogs. And uh, how you doing? 
And, and of course, Janet then said, in a pitch, you could go next door and go and live, yeah. exist yeah. at 35. Yeah. <laughs> and we're in 41, oh, so are you? Feel, feel free to come by and say hello. How you doing? Uh, yeah. Janet's picked a click. Great view, but all of these are really very nice. The view really starts at 24 and goes out towards 57, and that's on the map. The other ones, eh, not so well. <laughs> uh, there are only two that I think are here that are full-service bathhouses, shower, two, two, two stalls, and they're uh, semi-private, you know, there's not a door, but there is a curtain, two curtains. Quarry tile on the ground, subway tile on the sides, very clean. You know, the, uh, the, the, the deal is, is that you know what you're gonna get when you come to a Corps of Engineer campground and clean bathrooms. That's a big deal right there. Well, that's kind of wrapping it up for what we are uh, doing at McKinney. And we've been happy here. We like the privacy of the campsite. Uh, you know, it, there's a fair amount of traffic, unfortunately, I suppose. Or if you like a lot of traffic uh, out on the river or uh, the lake, then that's great too. But there is quite a bit. And we've been tubing and having just a general good time. Uh, people love coming to these campsites, uh, and we do too, because we know what we're gonna get. We're, we're, we know we're gonna get good utilities, good water, um, that will be clean. And uh, it, it's just uh, one of those things when you're out on the road, you'd like to have some consistency. It's really why I like a lot of franchises do well, because you just basically know what you're gonna get when you walk in through the door, for the most part. So we're gonna be taking off down the road uh, in a couple of days to Talladega, enjoy that. And I think we'll be hitting a few more of these on our trip before we make it back to Salt Lake. Um, so I hope you're enjoying it so far. I'm trying to get a little bit better. But uh, the bottom line is, is that I'm having fun, so why not? Um, I'm gonna try to do another video of uh, sunset. I really like sunsets on a, on a timer, and uh, so enjoy that. And uh, I have a little uh, shot of what it's like here early in the morning. So we'll go in the morning and then boom, we'll close it out with a, a nice uh, sunset, sunset. So we'll see you on down the road and enjoy.